Concern is growing this morning in Missouri, where the aggressive Delta variant of the coronavirus has been detected in sewage systems across the state. NBC News correspondent Ellison Barber joins us now from Brookfield, Missouri. So, Ellison, so scientists there say what they found in the wastewater is a clear sign the virus is spreading fast. Tell us more exactly about how this works, what testing they're doing, and what the results show. Hey, Joe. Yeah, so specifically the Delta variant is the one that they say they're seeing spread and spread really quickly in this state. The University of Missouri is working with the state health department to test wastewater that comes from water treatment facilities just like this one all across the state. They are pulling the wastewater as soon as it comes in and then sending it to labs over in Columbia, Missouri, where the university is located. They then go through that waste sample. They break it down to not only see if COVID-19 is detected in communities, wastewater treatment facilities, but also to identify the exact variants. It's just a much more comprehensive way of studying the spread of the virus. Uh, when you rely on human testing, you're relying on people that got tested, have access to health care and whatnot. Um, our system will tell you about an entire city without any bias for anything. As long as you use the sewer system, we will detect it. So this water treatment facility plant in Brookfield, Missouri, was one of the first water treatment plants where they identified the Delta variant. They were the second one actually to have it identified. There was one point here where they didn't detect COVID-19 in the wastewater in this community at all towards the end of April. And then in mid-May, they started to see it detecting here. They started to see their cases spike and some more people hospitalized. All of those people hospitalized were people who were unvaccinated. But they say when they detect it in wastewater within days they can see it sort of peak and know what's coming within the community. Wow, Joe? That, that is fascinating. Let's talk more about vaccinations because there in Missouri a majority of the population has not received the COVID vaccine yet. How might that impact the kinds of cases they're seeing right now? Yeah, so when you're looking at the results that they are getting from just testing wastewater, which this is something they've been doing throughout the pandemic, but again, it's kind of become more relevant and sort of uh, eye-opening, eyebrow, eyebrow-raising, if you will, as they've seen this Delta variant, because what they're seeing with this particular variant is that it is showing up, or at least initially, it was really showing up in smaller, more rural communities. They saw it first in mid-May on May 10th in Branson, Missouri, then they saw it here in Brookfield. These are both cities that don't have enormous population sizes. They are a smaller, they are a little bit more rural, but they also don't have particularly high vaccination rates. This county where we are, only about 31 percent of the people who live here have been fully vaccinated. So what experts are telling us is that they're using this information and what they're seeing and what is concerning is that this variant that is more contagious is spreading incredibly quickly and that it is spreading really fast in these smaller rural areas where they don't have as high of vaccination rates. Listen to more of what one health official from this county told us. With the variants, it's always a concern that as long as you have the unvaccinated population, you're going to have those peaks and valleys. And with those peaks and valleys come, you know, the very real possibility of hospitalizations and deaths. And so I think that's something our community needs to take into consideration. She says the hope of identifying and telling people that they see the Delta variant in their wastewater not only uh, makes them aware and gives local other leaders uh, a kind of blueprint plan, the knowledge to move forward in a proactive way to try and protect their community, but that it also makes people who are still unvaccinated at this point pause and think twice about maybe going and getting vaccinated. They say the people that they're seeing in the hospitals with this variant, they are younger people. And again, all of them are unvaccinated. So Ellison, Joe? quickly, what are you hearing from people about why they're not getting vaccinated? Yeah, you know, we've, we've asked people that question in states with low vaccination rates across the country from Mississippi to Alabama to here and kind of the answers sort of are the same. It varies from people who are hesitant and nervous because they feel like they just want to know a little bit more. But it also goes all the way to people who are leaning towards conspiracy theories. And what we've heard from officials consistently in all of those states and what we're hearing from them here is they say that the vaccine is readily available, that the problem is misinformation and they're really facing an up 
uphill battle trying to combat that because a lot of people are just getting inaccurate information about the vaccines on the Internet. No, Joe? Hearing that all over the country. All right, Ellison, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.